here's some um, Mayank, Matthew and the rest of his team's car being cut. You can see the 6mm full nose or round tipped cutter cutting very carefully the shape. Look at it from the side here. You can see that spigot, the uh, where my finger's pointing down through there. That's the grip sits inside the car. With a cylindrical shape that locks the car into position. And over here on the right, you can see the clamp that holds the car. That brass block there grips the car and holds it exactly in the right position. We need to allow at least 10 millimeters space in the block for that to happen. See that hole's been cut and the dust everywhere. So around about 15 minutes aside, or a little bit less than 15 minutes aside. And over here, you can see the machine code. The code's been processed. Each different operation's been accomplished. 18,000 operations in one pass or one creation of the car. 18,000 movements. Yes, you can see some models some other people that have devised. This one here from um, Macquarie Uni, having this made up, it's basically just a skeleton and it will fit various different sizes of plastic um, 3D printed parts onto this skeleton. Interesting, isn't it? So you can see the necessity to be able to support the car with that dowel there in order to reinforce the car as it's being machined. Sometimes the, uh, the airfoils are split off, they can be kept and glued back on. The cutting, the revolution on the cutter is about 23,000 revolutions per minute. It's moving very, very quickly. A lot of sawdust in there. So over here, just looking down here, the Mount Druid Tafe, this is the racetrack. You can see here, all the way from the start, there's some sample cars sitting there. This will be the racetrack coming to our school. It's quite a long way from beginning to end. You have to pack it all up and set it up including the computer system that operates it, records the results, tags it all, starting line. So you can see, over there is an actual wind tunnel uh, used to place cars in for testing. So instead of the virtual tunnel, uh, an actual fan with a wind tunnel used to test cars. You can see a car sitting in there at the moment. This car will be pretty close to finished. Up the top here you can notice the various different sorts of bits and cutters that are used in these machines.